Howdy y'all, I'm around the wheel. We're on Donkey Kong 94 and we are in Donkey Kong's natural habitat, the jungle. You think they would have saved this world for one of the last? Because Donkey Kong is really at an advantage on his home turf here. But I think they do some interesting things here with the, uh, I think they do some interesting things with the kind of Donkey Kong slash Donkey Kong Jr. formula. And I think this is actually the first time we see Donkey Kong Jr. in this game. Here is a temporary springboard. This is the first time we see something like this in the game. You gotta be able to make a bounce every now and then. There we go. Just right in. Slip right in. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. One down, 11 to go. We're pursuing Donkey Kong on his home turf. Okay. All right, gotta avoid the the seed spitting plants here. Uh. Oh, I thought I would grab onto the thing. Oops, oh well. This is pretty simple. It's just avoiding things until you make it. Just don't get hit by a seed. Seeds are dangerous. Everything in this game is dangerous. Bugs, seeds, falling too far. If I was to fall too far, I would simply choose not to die. Here is a cute little level. I like hanging onto the monkey tails. I also like that if you hang onto them and they can't move, they start crying. That, ugh. That's, that's the kind of attention to detail you'd love from Nintendo. All right, so let's wait. Let's wait until it's safe. And then we just have to not get grabby clawed, which is simple enough. That water is yellow. I just noticed this. This must be the river that Donkey Kong pees in. Because, as we know, there are no bathrooms in the jungle. And I'm just and I'm just backflipping like a maniac here. Okay, please just dance at the switch! Oh yes! Oh I took the chance and I got it. I made it. Screw you, Donkey Kong Jr. Your floor manipulations didn't catch me sh up short today. So yes, Donkey Kong Jr. helps his dad out in this game. But he doesn't really need the help because apparently Donkey Kong has access to poison mushrooms. They are temporary, as demonstrated here. But man, they can be inconvenient sometimes. And we're almost to 99 lives already. Lives are not really much of a concern in this game. If you can rack up a good amount of lives, I mean, you're just here to enjoy yourself. Ah, bats. We're in bat country. Here we go. You don't want to get touched by the bats. They'll drain your blood and make you unable to move. Okay. See if we can... No, we'll have to wait on him. There we go. The more we can get rid of on the way down, the better. Take a roll. Whoa, hey, hi. Did not expect you to do that. Nice. Oh, ho, ho. two bats with one key. That's how the phrase goes, right? That could have gone much better than it did. Yeah, if those bats catch you in the right time in the right place, uh, there's nothing There's nothing that can be done. And if you fall from high enough, yes, you will suffer the blunt force trauma. You won't even know it because all the blood will have left your head. So it'll feel like an eggshell cracking. I'm a doctor. Who said I'm not? Okay, let's set these up. We need a little... We need a little jump across, kind of. Okay, let's kind of do this a little bit of a funky way. Nice! Wow, that could have gone much better than it did. Now we just need to not screw up for the rest of the level, because that floor goes away. That is indeed correct. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and see what happens if I set this here. Can I get them kind of separated from each other? Okay. Nope, they're still both on this part. Okay. But, it's fine. Oh, and he didn't, he didn't suck my blood. Wow, he was like right on top of me and nothing happened. That was pretty amazing. 
Yeah, there's lots of ways for this level to go wrong. This is this was one of the more difficult levels for me when I was a kid, but now I've got the muscle memory. Everything feels good. Everything feels nice. Everything just goes according to plan, mostly. All right, up. Donkey Kong Jr. messing with me on this one. We've got the biker mice from Mars Heads chasing after us. Okay. Yeah, and they wake up even if they... Even if they cannot see you from off screen, ah, I didn't time it right. I could have done it, but I could have done it, but I just didn't. There's lots of reasons why I didn't do it. Um, my theory is that I suck. Uh, so, all right. Sometimes Donkey Kong will just dance at the switch and do nothing, which is what I prefer. Like right there for sure. Gives me a lot more time to plan that out. Nope, he's gonna pull it this time. So we're just gonna stick around and wait. Now this will be the time that he dances at the switch. Nope, he was kind, he pulled it. Sometimes Donkey Kong will just, Junior will just sit there and dance when you really need him to do something. And <laughs> man, there are a few things in this game that are more frustrating than that. Okay, no, no Donkey Kong Jr. to mess with us here, however. Okay, so we're gonna get taken. Okay, so we kind of need, we kind of need him to throw mushrooms this way. There we go. That way we have some clearance to get up here, because it will almost always coincide with us climbing up the vine. If we let him throw him over there... Why didn't I think- why did I think you would not climb up the vine? That is- that is something that you do. That is something you are programmed to do. Your entire life is chomping your way up the vine. Okay, so once again we need to do a distraction tactic. Okay. No, don't touch me! Thank you. Alright, should be able to clear it this time. Okay, there we go. Now let's try this again. Once more with feeling. Yeah, you being dead, that would that would contribute significantly to improving my life if you just did not exist anymore. So why don't I drop a coconut on your head and just brutally murder you? Yes, and you can throw away the hammer. That's a really interesting trick about this game, I think. I think that's a really... That's one of those things that's like, it's such a small tweak to the Donkey Kong formula, but it's so elegant. And it opens up so many possibilities. We were one life short of being nice. If I had not eaten it to that little crocodile head thing, then I would have got... I mean, I'll get to it in probably five seconds or so anyway. I mean, it, it doesn't matter that much. I just like 69, you know? It's a classic. The weed number, obviously. All right. Prevent any monkey crying shenanigans. Here we go. Yeah, this one is pretty simple. Okay. Now we need to let you guys out of your cage. All right. And now we play the waiting game. I like how they cry if you hang on to two of their tails at the same time. But they don't mind the extra weight if you just sit here like this. They're pretty chill, those monkeys. Alright. Oh yeah! I was like, how am I gonna get across here? You have to let one drop, that's right. And then you have to pull the switch again so that you can get through the door that's right below me there. That I am rapidly ducking to indicate. <coughs> Excuse me, holy cow. I'd actually been holding on to that one for a few minutes. Tried to not cough, but you know. The vagaries of amateur recording. Such is life. And up, and back. Oh, hey, what? Thank you. There's the backflip I was looking for. Not making me look very good, game. Boom. I mean, I'm still looking pretty alright anyway, because... He shut the door. Hey, I didn't even realize we got all the stuff. Okay, so let's go for a two up this time. Ooh, 
isolated two up over on its own little island. Not what I ex not where I expected it to stop based on where I stopped it. But you know what? We'll take two lives. You know, we'll skip over 69. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not upset. I'm really not upset. It's it's totally fine. All right, Mr. Frogman here. We'll jump. If you stand on him. Anything over here? Oh, the key is over here. Okay, so yeah. We actually need the key first. <laughs> nope, not so much. Not at me. There we go. Oh, oh no, I'm gonna actually have to jump. Okay. <laughs> Don't disappear, thank you. Okay. I had to get quiet for a second there. I had to really concentrate. Hey, guess what? Hey, you. Take that. <laughs> I could have jumped over him. But you know what? I'm just a cold-blooded psychopath. So. That's me, around the wheel, meeting out death wherever I see fit. Alright, what happens here? Oh yeah, this one is this one can be kind of fun. We're actually going to take... This is something that took me several years to figure out. There should be a mushroom coming down the way here. Don Kong Jr. is just coming out, tossing these around. It took me several years to realize this, but the frog actually jumps higher if you're tiny. So now we're safe in here for now. We get to play around with the stuff. I did that for the one-up. Pretty much nothing else. Alright. Oh, excuse you. Forget it. We don't even need ladders anyway. Mario... Mario... Ladders are beneath Mario. Mario doesn't need to use a ladder. And he certainly doesn't need to use any fancy schmancy retracting and, and unretracting ladder. Alright. Here we should be dealing with barrels and poison mushrooms at the same time. I always hated that you couldn't grab onto the vines in midair. That's... That's always been a bit of a sore spot for me. So yeah, you hit Donkey Kong with a barrel, a poison mushroom pops out. So you gotta be a little... You gotta be a little bit careful. Alright, hopefully it's gonna go the other way. Yeah, so we'll just sit here and wait. There we go. <laughs> oh, wow. Mario cruising down that vine. But again... He should have stayed there. But you know, Mario, Mario's just gonna do his watching thing. Why use the vine? Why backflip up to the ladders? Why do anything? Why grab the super hammer? Which can bust through bricks. Why, why, why bother? Clearly this is all just a bunch of theater to Mario. Never mind that there's a damsel in distress whose life is on the line. Being... Threatened by a massive gorilla. This is all just a game to you, isn't it, Mario? It's all just a game. You make me sick, Mario. You are pathetic. What world are we on now? We're on the desert. I thought we were on the airplane. <laughs> God, I get off on the stupidest jags, I swear to God. <laughs> 